Welcome, friends. I'm Jeff Holland, Sonic Artist. I'm so glad you could join us. I am excited to tell you about this new program that's called Tales and Tales. And as I went through our percussion petting zoo, if you've seen some of my programs before, you may remember that I play anything you can shake, rattle, scrape, Hit, strike, bang, roll. I'm gonna need your help today, so maybe you can find a percussion instrument somewhere around you. Maybe you could even use your body. Maybe on the desk. Or maybe you have some cool percussion instruments around your house. So without any further ado, let's get started. I wanna introduce you to some of the techniques that I use that are a little bit new. You may have seen someone do this before where they wet their finger and they rub around the edge of the glass and eventually it starts to ring. a little science it's not magic it's called friction and we can use that on a lot of our instruments to create these animal sounds that are going to be used in our tails I'd like for you to take a moment take a few deep breaths Imagine all of the tales in the world. Maybe you have favorite animals. Maybe you'll see some of those today. What animal can make this sound? So as we go through our stories, I want you to use your imagination and help me fill in the blanks of the stories. If you said that that sounded like a lion roaring, you may be correct. In fact, I want to introduce you to my friend Shumba. Shumba is a lion that's named after one of the voices in the Imbira Zavazimu from Zimbabwe. This is known as a thumb piano, but these three keys have a voice that represents shumba. In the cultures of Zimbabwe, they believe that shumba is a very important person in their community. Some people even call him the king of the jungle. So we're going to let this song represent the voice of Shumba. When you hear that voice, you'll know that Shumba is guiding us to new discoveries. So as Shumba began his journey in the savannas of Southern Africa, he was looking for some familiar friends. You may have seen some of Shumba's friends before. As Shumba began to walk through the grasslands, 
he came across his friend the elephant. The elephant said hello like this. Shimbo was glad to see his friend and asked him if he would like to come along on the journey with him. His friend the elephant said, of course I would. Let's take it one step at a time. Now first, the elephant needed to use his tail for something, oh, to brush the flies away. After the flies were gone, they were ready to begin their journey. One step at a time. What do you think an elephant's footsteps sound like? Can you march around with me like an elephant? Don't forget about your trunk. So Shumba and the elephant walked on down the road. It wasn't long until they came across some more familiar friends. Who do you think they found next? Help me fill in the blanks in the story. Was it their friend the lizard? actually have a few drums that are made from lizard skin. Would you like to see them? These are called talking drums. Would you squeeze the strings or increase the tension? You can make the pitch change. When you add tension, the pitch goes higher. When you release tension, the pitch goes lower. If you look closely, you can see the pattern of those lizard scales still left in the skin. So the lion and the elephant continued walking down the road. Little did they know, there were friends waiting for them in the trees ahead. These gourds don't grow on trees. Don't they look strange? They're called Hosho. And I think that they kind of look like monkeys. Can you pretend with me? Think about this. A monkey uses its long tail to balance and hang from the branches in the tree. And each one has its own personality. Monkey here listens for the beat first. Monkey C 
plays a different way based on what he watches someone do. Together, they jam along with Monkey Learn. And they keep their song going. Can you find a part to play in our song? I'll wait a second while you experiment. Every once in a while, if you want to add a lion's roar, or maybe an elephant's groan, you can add those sounds in. There were animals all around. They had to slow down and wait for the armadillo to cross the road. From another tree, they heard some monkeys teasing. They laughed at each other, played games, and told tales. Elephant thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> so as I go back to the Imbira, each key has a different voice, and each one represents a different animal, or a different person, or maybe a group of animals. Shumba. Shumba is actually a way to make the Imbira louder. If you've ever wanted to make your cell phone louder, do you guys have cell phones yet? No. You can always take your friend's cell phone and set it in a bowl if you're in the kitchen hanging out and it'll make your cell phone a lot louder. Let's see how it makes the Ambira sound louder. The armadillo, too, continued down the road. They were looking for more tales and adventures. Shumba back for a second.
Are you guys ready for chapter two? So, as Shumba and the elephant, the monkeys, and the armadillo headed down the road, guess what they ran into? A whole herd of antelope. And the antelope had skin like used on this strong. Each one had a different way to move. Can you guys move like an antelope? Do you hop, skip, and run? like a lot of friends having a great time are you having fun yet their body. Some actually grow smaller as their body grows bigger. Let's find out about some of these animals in chapter two. Shumba brings us to a farm. On the farm, what kind of animals do you think you would hear? Would you hear chickens pecking? Would you hear pigs oinking? Maybe one of our feathered friends? Could you even hear, hmm, what's something else that you could hear on a farm that has a tail? What animal makes these rhythms?
Oh, if you said a horse, you were right. Horses have a beautiful mane and tail. And Shumba had never seen a horse before. Shumba saw the horse. And there were some other animals on this farm with all kinds of different tails. In fact, what kind of tails does a pig have? If you said short and curly, you're right. You may even find one of these birds on a farm. And they have a big, beautiful tail of feathers. <laughs> this is another one of the instruments that I made. It's a string poke through a hole in the bottom of the can, and I wet a rag to use friction. That's right. You remembered from earlier. So as Shumba was hanging out on the farm, he enjoyed playing with all of the animals, but he had so much more that he wanted to see. He thought, I'll go to the sea to see some new animals. If you haven't figured out, we're doing a lot of play on words. So the idea of the story, Tales and Tales, is based on the word tales, T-A-I-L-S, and tales, T-A-L-E-S, meaning two different things. They sound exactly the same. The first one means an animal's tale. The second one is a story tale. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about these sounds from the ocean. I have a drum for that, and it sounds like this. Does that sound like ocean waves to you? So as Shumba and his friends made it to the ocean, what kind of animals do you think they saw? Did they see fish swimming by? Maybe even a whale. Can you use your imagination and think? About all of the sounds that you can hear underwater. Maybe a boat floating by. Maybe a scurry of fish swimming by. As they stepped into the ocean, you have to be careful because there's, there's an animal that likes to hide under the sand that kind of looks like a bird, but it has a long tail. Do you know what that animal is? A stingray or a manta ray. That's what the skin on this drum is made from. It's made from 
stingray skin. So these animals began to tell their tales. And I think it sounded something like this.
and traveling across the ocean. Eventually, the sun began to set. And all that was left were the crickets. distance, in the still of the night, when the owls come out, because they can see better at night time. In chapter four, the sun has set. We're into the evening. Let's invite everyone back and we'll have a big jam. Have you been adding your animal sounds to our tales? Or have you been moving around like the animals that we talked about?
great time hanging out with you today. Thanks for dropping by our Drum for Work studios. I tell everybody that we jam with, keep your rhythms going. Until we meet again, I can't wait to share some of our new sounds with you. I'm always on a found sound treasure hunt, looking for new things, tuning in to the world around me. Thanks for helping make our world a better place to live, learn, 